Hey everyone, welcome to Ecocalypse. So we're going to be uh, comparing two summon banners here. Um, obviously, this is not the one. This is our mainstay banner, of course. We have two banners here, your Dangerous Exposure, which we have set, and we have Regina here, and the other banner, which is only for Horus. So I'll start off with these two. If... Um, these two are good for you or not we will see so we're gonna discuss first regina gina regina is ssr she is actually classified as s tier at this point so regina is usually another damage dealer alongside Ferencia on your burn team so uh applies burn to enemies and also buffs herself by giving dodge percent and pierce up that's the summary of her skills um so you basically those are the key facts that you should consider if you want to summon for this banner of course if you go through the skills that she has it's usually burn she's mostly going to benefit your burn team and she is tier a okay so there's nothing wrong with summoning for this banner my problem again if there are two ssrs in one banner is that <laughs> the um, the possibility of getting the one that you want is usually have uh, at 50 percent as well so if the if the um, the percentage triggers it also triggers for either of them so regina that is her skill so she's gonna be good for your dps and your set is i've used set before she is one of the best um, defenders, so-called defenders of um, this game. So Set uh, is a support case. So her main role is protecting allies by taking the damage that they receive. So very, very useful tank and uh, very good survivability compared to... Usually she is compared with uh, Yulia and uh, but she needs um to be one star to shine so she's a good tank i've used her but for me pre a personal preference is still going to be yulia okay um for this banner again the risk of of pulling for this banner is there is a big chance that if even if you get an ssr you won't get either or you will be getting the one here the other one here that you don't want let's say for example if you need set you might get regina or you might get uh set if you're looking for regina so that is it the percentage of limited case in ssr draw is for 40 percent and it's time limited and this one is going to be only for five days this dropped two days ago so you have five more days to you know to get what you want and hopefully uh, be lucky with this because again, there's a big risk if there are two SSRs in one banner. So I would really, really, really uh, recommend the other one. This one is Dangerous Exposure Banner. The Kingship Eternal Banner, which is Horus only, is I think better. For one, it, she's going to be the only one with the, you know, the increased chance for this banner. So no other competition. Number two, she is of S tier. So, for Horus, so she gives the highest damage possible in the game. Uh, her skills make it possible that you deal double damage on the top of, of, of her already high damage when an enemy has armor break. So, not only that, on higher star level, also it increases her crit percentage and crit damage by 50%. So, again, she hits like a truck. Um, very good DPS, and she's the only high, you know, high, um, high rate of drop in this banner. Aside from, you know, the other one that it's two, so you're gonna have you're gonna have Seth and Regina for that one. For this one, it's going to be her. And also, a good thing about this banner, this banner is 12 days or was 14 days before today. So you're going to have more time in terms of getting her. If you require more days, definitely you go for this banner. Um, I think personally, she is actually good. If you take a look at her, take a look at her, her link here. 
So for me personally, I have most of them except for Pan Pan. So she will be beneficial for me. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to pull for her. I still have to save up a bit so that I could probably put out a summon video for her. Um, spent a lot of currency the last time around. So hopefully I do get this girl. I, I want her for additional DPS, but... Um, not that much. Um, my team is all is already built up, but another SSR, you know, won't be bad to add to your team. Plus, Horus is one of the waifus that I've been uh, looking for so far. So, if you ask me, guys, which am I going to prefer? Obviously, it's going to be the Horus banner because of um, again, I'm just going to repeat. She's available for 14 days. Now it's going to be 12 days. It's only her in this banner, and she is S tier above these two. So these two are A tier. Um, Set and Regina are A tier, and there's a big risk that you won't get either of them because, again, they're going to split the odds between them when you pull just in case the odds trigger uh, the SSRs. So that is it. Again, uh, all, po all indications point to Horus, not these two. So sorry, but again, if you if you need um, any of these two in the teams that you're building, you know, I, I won't say that you you won't uh, pull for them. If you need them, go ahead. But if you ask me, if you if it's um, a level need, if you, if if the need is the same for both, no one is uh, is uh, is um, outshining the other in terms of need. I would go for Horus at this point. Okay, guys, so that is it. So hopefully you were, I was able to, you know, give you some insights on who to pull. I'm sorry for the late video. Um, I should have done this yesterday. I was a little bit busy, a lot of things happening in life. So again, guys, thank you very much. So comments in the comment section. Hopefully you, you know, are lucky with your pulls. And thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Again, take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.